Okay, so in this negotiation, we are going to have a discussion or debate on the effect of technology. Some people believe that uh, uh, more or less it has uh, positive effects. And right. some others, including me, they think that <laughs> it <laughs> exerts, uh, as a matter of fact, more negative effects on uh, human's life. So... Uh, also, it's important to just use. Uh, the, uh, I wonder if you uh, did some research on that. Did you do some research? Yes, or? I did. Okay. So, yeah. what is the most important argument that uh, you would like to share with me about the positivity of technology? Okay, let me start with uh, this sentence mm -hmm. that's our daily life. Uh, related to technology in one or other way. Actually, there are so many advantages with improved technology in our daily life, such as telecommunication, mm -hmm. uh, internet, aviation, aviation, mm -hmm. social, uh, social networking, and uh, etc. Uh, the most important things I think is uh, telecommunication. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. You, the, the point is that, as a matter of fact, please notice that this is not a lecture. It's a kind of right. actually casual conversation, you know. Yeah. So don't think okay, I just is. wanted mm -hmm. to notice yeah. Yeah, these uh, advantages. Well, as a matter of fact, I cannot just close more my eyes to the advantages mm -hmm. of technology. There are various advantages, but in yeah. my idea, actually, I believe that even as you said, the most important of them actually is telecommunication, but I believe that the number of negative effects of uh, attributed to technology is more than the positive. So we can really? prove it to you. Yeah, I believe okay. so. For example... Okay, we uh, can count it. The, the, yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, let's take a mathematical approach to that. Uh, right. For example, video games. It just does so much harm to children and uh, if they are exposed to some video games and as a matter of fact children have access to smartphones and uh, tablets and they just play video games so what do you have to say about that don't you think that they will be overshadowed or negatively influenced by violent video games actually um, uh, in my opinion we are the deciders if we use it for positive things, it will have positive effects uh, of our lives. And mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, we can choose our way. Um, mm -hmm. You're correct about that. And uh, I believe that uh, the advantages of um, actually technology uh, yeah. is more than uh, negatives, uh, actually negatives points. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, uh, you're right about that. However, I can uh, tell you, I can give you an example mm -hmm. that uh, uh, actually video game is used to uh, actually um, teach uh, children mm -hmm. to code. Do you know yeah. about yeah? Do yeah, you know I've heard about of that. Uh, Minecraft, yeah. for example, Minecraft uh, manufactured and let's say released by Microsoft is used for educational purposes these days. Yeah, also Famous. Apple company mm -hmm. uh, has this course and has these video games that you can uh, actually code video game. Mm -hmm. Also, you are um, actually playing a game. Uh, you are uh, you are learning something, uh -huh. and I think it's a good point. Yeah, yeah that, we can is, that is correct. That way. But as a matter yeah. of fact, the majority of video games are full of violence, full of brutality. Uh, mm -hmm. There are some, uh, m let's say, some minor games that are uh, that follow educational purposes, but the majority of them, as a matter of fact, are full of violence. And I believe okay. that actually in the past. Uh, we used to be happier people. We used to get together. We we used to uh, pay a visit to each other, and um, you know. But these days, because of technology, we have been uh, detached from each other to some extent, and uh, we uh, the, the rate of isolation is higher. Yes. What do you have to say about the, that? Yeah. On the uh, on the other hand, you can mm. suppose that, uh, for example, if you live in a country. And one of your family members lives uh, in another country. Mm -hmm. uh, in, actually, how can you uh, communicate with uh, his or her 
without technology nowadays. So the, okay. the best solution, the best solution is to not is to is write not to, a letter. No, no, no. Is not to get separated. <laughs> so <laughs> if you really love your uh, family member, you should not just uh, go to another place, and that person actually that you love uh, should not just uh, leave you. So, okay, it could be a good good solution. However, um, because of some uh, problems in some mm -hmm. countries, it is not possible for anyone. Maybe this is stay because of the uh, technology that you just separated you uh, from your beloved and uh, your close uh, friends and relatives. It was because of the technology. Because, for example, you easily you can take a plane and go to the uh, distant places of the world. Right. Um, if actually, I don't think that uh, it's because of the technology. If someone wants to go uh, another country, if it takes uh, actually um, 30, 30 days, mm -hmm. <laughs> he or she do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> will do it. And uh, undoubtedly, it is not the cause of that. Yeah. yeah. And also another argument that I would like to make here is just... Uh, the byproduct of technology on our uh, let's say or the effect of that on our lifestyles as a matter of fact people particularly children tend to become obese because they do not have enough physical exercises in the past you know children would go out play with each other you know uh, physically and they had a lot of physical exercises but uh, the rate of childhood obesity has increased mm -hmm. these days because they just take a tablet the smartphone yeah. and the virtual reality I don't know and they do not have enough physical exercises because of that actually uh, their health would be jeopardized yeah you are correct about this and mm -hmm. this is one of uh, those uh, negative points mm -hmm. however um, if you see about positive uh, points such as agricultural field mm -hmm. okay and nowadays we are able to meet food requirements uh, actually um, of people and um, you, mean you can genetically modified. Uh, yeah exactly mm -hmm. uh, yeah of people all over the world we can send uh, supply of food all over the world and um, in and the genetically past genetically uh, structure them you know crops yeah and, mm -hmm. exactly you can change it and get your results but the uh, flavor you know the taste of the materials especially fruits mm -hmm. actually is not comparable to the naturally uh, processed or organic foods organic right. foods and uh, vegetables yeah. actually have their own <laughs> and original and natural flavor but when, yeah. when you have a GM standing for genetically modified uh, products actually it's not comparable I mean the taste is nonsense <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, actually, I think uh, the number of uh, people that live in this world is increasing. Uh -huh. uh, and we don't have, I think, uh, without technology, we couldn't um, prepare or provide them mm -hmm. a good, uh, actually, uh, adequate supply of food. You're right. What do you think about yeah. that? You're, you're right. So yeah. technology is an inevitable, let's say, approach or, uh, let's say, orientation to our lives. So we need to go through that because a high level of quality or and, uh, complexity in life does not allow us to just uh, continue natural or old approaches. So exactly. it is an inevitable orientation, as I said, but it, it may have some uh, terrible consequences. Yeah, For example, exactly. loneliness. I think the rate mm -hmm. of loneliness has increased because you know people because. maybe they are they live with each other, but they do not communicate very very much or effectively with each other. Uh, yeah. and also, they do not try to learn social skills. They just uh, become separated and isolated. They just send messages to yeah. each other. Exactly. So, as yeah. you said, social networking or social media. 
okay. we are social sociable creatures i mean humans mm -hmm. are social creatures they need to socialize but because of the fact that they just cannot socialize with each other in the let's say natural way they just mm -hmm. resort to or turn their attention to social media you know as yeah. a substitute yeah. for that as exactly yeah and uh, actually they are try to they are trying to uh, actually find childhood friends, their childhood friends, uh, relatives, etc. And uh, maybe you can find mm -hmm. uh, an important event um, in your life. You can actually set a time for your important event and uh, get noticed. Right. Yeah. And the other problem that is so... Uh, let's say attached to technology is that sometimes you just uh, as a matter of fact privacy or safety is would be at risk your privacy for example they they may hack you and your information and personal information and data and even bank account and numbers mm -hmm. and so on and so forth and also it increases the rate of unemployment because machines would be used or utilized instead of humans so in close future it has been estimated that a lot of people would not be able to maintain their jobs because yeah. machines can uh, work faster and better in many uh, perspectives from many perspectives and they would end up losing their jobs exactly uh, however could you suppose that uh, without technology if uh, we don't have CCTV in our bank, in our banks. Mm -hmm. uh, if someone try to uh, steal uh, our money from bank, mm -hmm. uh, what? How can we uh, actually follow them? How can we prosecute them? Um, I think even technology would be at the service of those robbers. To think mm -hmm. of another solution to that problem, and in, <laughs> as a matter of fact, in future maybe they would be, uh, they would outperform some ordinary mm -hmm. machines uh, in order to just carry or uh, just perform their tasks. That is robbing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And also the other point is that uh, oh maybe our machines or technology or state-of-the-art technology would be so complicated that they may just rise against us it means mm -hmm. that they may for example have you seen the some science fiction movies such as terminator and i robot and some others we have a series of terminators and in right. these movies we just uh, we are warned against them uh, possible or imminent consequences that we would be enslaved by uh, or controlled by some machines and they will just uh, threaten us and yeah. it is all possible yeah it is all possible mm -hmm. and uh, it could be, be useful for us in the future so we don't know yeah we don't know uh, maybe uh, we can control them Instead of that, they control us. No, no, uh, because actually they they may become smarter than us. So if they become smarter than us, they want to have their own independency, and they can. We cannot just control them at that time. They are uncontrollable. They will become uncontrollable. Okay, I don't think so because we should write some codes for them, and yeah, we should yeah. learn them. Mm. And uh, any time uh, that we need some change, or we can change their uh, program. Yeah, but uh, they would be so smart that they can just actually defy DEFY or violate those rules or codes. They will become so intelligent. They're so intelligent. That's why we have a high level of uh, AE, that is artificial intelligence. They they will become so intelligent that they can violate and break the rules they will become autonomous as in the film i robot that is a great mm -hmm. movie that yeah right. they become autonomous they do not take orders anymore yeah, yeah. 
Anything? But I think, yeah, uh, humans are more smarter than them. Because we time, build yes. them. At this yeah. time, yes. But they, uh, the, uh, if they uh, tend to, or if they happen to become really smart and intelligent, mm-hmm. they can even create, update their themselves. You know, they can update themselves. And that right. would be completely out of control. And that situation would be completely out of control. Exactly. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, I enjoyed this uh, uh, negotiation and I'm so happy. Me I was too. so excited that you had done research on that and also you had thought about it and you use your notes. This is great. Yeah, and thank you. We're going to have this activity in each session, if you like. Uh, 